Council member Liz Dalton proposed the measure after she says citizens asked her to do something about sagging pants. Most of the people are saying they're getting tired of looking at people's underwear. The mayor of Collinsville says only one citizen complained to him and feels his city has other priorities. It might be offensive to a person that's viewing it, but it doesn't give that person the right to criticize and make laws prohibiting hearing it in a community. We found two young men with saggy pants in one Collinsville neighborhood. Nobody shouldn't be offended by it. They say it's just a look for them, nothing more. I don't enjoy it, it's just the way people wear their pants, you know what I'm saying? It's the style with their clothes. The mayor worries the city will lose focus on its goals and be known instead as the city that banned saggy pants. The council member who pushed for the ban says she only did what her citizens wanted her to do. We are elected by the people and we're supposed to represent the people. And if there's a problem out there that they want us to address, then it is our duty as an elected official to address that. The mayor doesn't think this ban is what his community really wants. I think it's very strange that we would spend taxpayers' money to facilitate something that taxpayers don't want. Opponents also argue the ban could keep police from more important work. But supporters say they trust police to pursue more serious crimes first.